Happy Independence Day. Welcome to Signature TV News Highlight for this Friday. I am Brenda Etta. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, has called on Nigerians to be more united for the common purpose of building a country that meets the best expectations of all Nigerians. Bajabiamila said Nigerian leaders were doing their best to see an end to the challenges facing Nigeria, especially the insecurity across the country. He said in the past 61 years, Nigeria had grown and developed beyond imagination, though he recognized there were still challenges. The speaker reassured Nigerians that the Ninth Assembly would always give the necessary legislative interventions to other arms of government to smoothen the task of governance. President Muhammadu Buhari on Friday said he had given his approval for the suspension of microblogging site Twitter to be lifted once the conditions set by the federal government are met. The president spoke about the suspension of Twitter during his Independence Day anniversary broadcast to the nation. He explained social media had many benefits, but there were dangers that the government had to address. Nigeria took action against Twitter in June on the grounds that it was being used for activities capable of undermining the corporate existence of Nigeria, a move that sparked outrage and controversy. <laughs> Governor Dapo Abiodu of Ogun State has signed the anti-open grazing bill and ranching bill into law. While signing the bill in his office in Abeokuta, the state capital on Thursday, the governor said the move became imperative in order to protect all critical stakeholders and their businesses in the state. According to him, an implementation committee to be headed by the State Commissioner for Agriculture with the membership of other critical stakeholders will fashion out the modalities for the full and smooth takeoff for the implementation of the law within six months. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has postponed the official launch of its digital currency, the e Naira. According to the Central Bank of Nigeria spokesperson, Osita Mwanisiobi says the decision to postpone the unveiling of the e Naira, scheduled for October the 1st, was made to avoid any distractions from the country's 61st Independence Day celebration. Nevertheless, the Central Bank of Nigeria has assured Nigerians that the bank and all the partners are working to ensure a seamless process for the benefit of all. Meanwhile, no new date has been announced for the launch. Victor Osimhen scored his third European League goal for the season for Napoli, who suffered a 3-2 loss to Spartak Moscow in an ill-tempered game that saw nine yellow cards and two red cards issued at the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona on Thursday. The Nigerian had scored a brace for the partner P in their 2-2 draw with Leicester City a fortnight ago. The goal says the former Lille striker surpassed the goal scored by Edinson Cavani and Drez Martins in seven consecutive games for Napoli. Osimhen came on for Andre Petangna at the start of the second half and reduced the deficit in additional time of the defeat when he trapped in Di Lorenza squared ball from the right for his seventh goal of the season. Safety and security begin with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News highlight. For more details, visit www.signaturetv.org. And please do join us later in the evening for Signature TV News update. On behalf of my producer, Marvelous Obama, thanks for watching. I am Brenda Etta.